Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to mask the background of your indoor portrait in order to get ready to add it to another background. We're going to refine the edge of the portrait so that we get a really good edge around the figure. First, we're gonna open up our portrait that should be a portrait of a person on a very plain background. We used a sheet in the uh, studio. So we have our portrait in the workspace. And then we're going to use the quick selection tool. We're going to click on the quick selection tool. We can do it two ways. I'm going to show you the quick selection tool. What we want to do is that's a brush tool. So when we come over, you'll see the size of the brush and you can increase or decrease the size of the brush by using your bracket keys. We're going to just paint inside of the figure in order to select as much of it as we can. You can go over to the sleeve and if you go too far, you can go up to the minus brush and click on it and push some back in if you like. I'll show you another quick way to do that in the future. So now we have most of her hair selected. I'm going to go over here and get the rest of her sleeve. And what we're going to do is go up to select and mask. That's an option in the quick selection tool. And that will take us into this other area. And you can see we didn't do a great job, so we're gonna refine our job. And the best way to do this is to make sure that you choose a on black background so you can see what you're doing and make sure the opacity is all the way up and it's not gray like this. You want the background to be totally black. We're going to use our Refine Edge brush tool over here on the left. And again, that's a brush. We're going to increase the size just a bit. We're going to zoom in, Command Plus. You've already practiced that. You can even go further. And we're just going to paint around the edge to get all of the hair included in our selection. I'm going to go very quickly for this tutorial and you might want to go a little more slowly. You definitely will. So I'm gonna hold the space bar to move my image and just carefully go around the edge. Although I'm going quickly, you're gonna go carefully. And you can see I am um, getting all of the stray hairs, the rough edge into our selection nicely. So command uh, space bar to move. That's a quick way to move your image. And I'm gonna keep going around here. Use my bracket keys to increase the brush size. We will practice that in class. And go down here. I'm going to reduce my brush size and go around the edge of the sleeve. And we can fix this later. Uh, here's a little bit in here. Space bar to move, go around the edge. I'm going very quickly. This would not be a very professional job. Command zero to bring it back to center. And any other area you might want to refine the edge, you're just going to paint around. And that's good enough for now for us. And so I'm going to scroll down and click on output to New layer with layer mask. New layer with layer mask. Click that and click OK. And then you will see that we have our person on a checkerboard background, which indicates that the background is transparent. So I'm going to go to the Move tool, and you will see that she is, we are able to move her. She's free from the background. And this is how we're going to be able to place another background in here or move her onto another background. We can also, with the Move tool, go to um, our uh, Edit 
and free transform or command T and I'm going to zoom out command minus and you can see that we can make her smaller and move her around that's free transform and then we just check when we get her the size that we would like just like that also you can click on the show transform controls and we can turn her any direction and move her all around and that's going to be it for this tutorial and we're going to check and always file save as a photoshop file while you're working